not everyone has money to see the best new movies at the theaters. And to be honest, you don't need to. Streaming services like Netflix have original content for many interests and genres coming to your app or web page, what seems like daily. I'm Emily Mahler. Let's get started. A futile and stupid gesture was released on Netflix in January. This biographical film is based on the life of Doug Kenny, the co-founder of the National Lampoon magazine, with many cameos of actors playing famous figures in comedy such as Bill Murray, Gilda Radner, and my personal favorite, Lauren Michaels. Will Forte takes Kenny's crazy life by the reins. The ending scene will make you cry. Another plus of this movie is the poster's tagline, If you don't watch this movie, we will kill Will Forte. A new Netflix original show that aired in September revolves around a New York City detective and his father, who's an ex-cop. Josh Groban and Tony Danza star in The Good Cop. This show is somehow very laid back and hilarious. The music is nostalgic towards old cop films and TV shows. Melodramatic music for funny times. It's kind of amusing to see Josh Groban being a New York City cop. I feel like any minute he's going to burst out and sing from The Great Comet musical. The Good Cop is something you have to be in the mood to watch, but it does lift your spirits. Hold the Dark is a thriller film from the director of Green Room. Character Russell Kaur gets an urgent message from a less than frantic mother played by Riley Keough to help find her missing son and the wolf that abducted him. To be honest, I watched this film for Jeffrey Wright who plays Kaur, but didn't want to stay. The film wanted to be tense, but it's just bland and very cold. It falls short. I let out a loud sigh when it ended. For Cougar Review, I'm Emily Mahler. See you next time.